I had never heard of Cicada Place before I went there as a pregnant 19-year-old. I felt like my parents were sending me away, to a place for youth who had nowhere else to go. It was a real mix. Some in school, some dropped out. There were youth struggling with addiction, some were in foster care, some were also pregnant like me. I also met other queer youth there. Speakers would come in and give us workshops on life skills, topics from mental health to budgeting. We cooked and ate our meals together once a week. There were hard days. I remember pushing my son in his stroller at the social assistance office. I'll never forget the looks from workers there, rolling their eyes and judging me, a young mom with her infant, coming to collect my monthly check. The women who worked at Cicada Place, Ida, Joyce, Christine, became like my family. They made me feel like I mattered. I never felt like I was on the clock with them. I lived at Cicada Place for a year. During that time, I was connected to a counselor and the family place. I met other moms and watched my support network grow. While living there, I applied for university, eventually moving to Victoria and getting a degree in child and youth care, specializing in child welfare. I went on to get my master's in counseling psychology at Yorkville University 10 years later. Today, I have my own counseling practice. I love working with youth and young moms. They have such strength and determination. A few years ago, I went to a reunion for Cicada Place. It was definitely a full circle moment for me, leaving there as a youth and returning as an adult trying to support other youth. The Cicada is a symbol of survival and resurrection. I like to imagine that my story is not all that different than one of a cicada. Dropping from the branches to burrow into the ground and hatch, nourishing myself at the roots before emerging into the sunlight and flying away.